Hello everyone, um, my name is Lily Moon. I am a watercolour artist and illustrator and this is the second attempt at creating a video for you all here on my new YouTube channel. Um, yesterday didn't quite go as planned <laughs> as you may have seen in my previous video. But today I am confident, well, confident might be stretching it, but I am hopeful that my kitten Baloo will be sleeping all through the video. At the moment he is sleeping in his bed, so I'm taking the advantage while I can. So today I'd like to share with you some new watercolours that I bought. They are handmade watercolours that I bought on Etsy. Um, they're part of a mini art haul I did for my birthday, which was last month. And I have to say, I am so impressed by them. These are the colours. I don't know if I can yeah, put them into focus. Okay. Um, and I just want to swatch them out for you because I think they deserve to be seen and spread the word. Um, I'm going to be using my, for swatching, I will be using my um, Moleskin watercolor sketchbook, my Da Vinci Maestro um, size two brush and some water. So here goes, hoping Baloo will sleep through this. <laughs> so here we go. Um, First up, I have this gorgeous burnt umber. Um, I'm so impressed with this colour. I think it's one of the best burnt umbers I've seen. And I thought. I'd do something different. Yesterday I tried swatching just in um, like in ovals. Today I might do something different. Might just try it. Oh, that is beautiful, beautiful colour. It is such a rich burnt umber and it isn't too leaning towards red it isn't too leaning towards green I think it's it's beautiful I love it and I will definitely put be putting it in my um, my palette my everyday palette because I've been looking for a brown like this I hope you can see that. I might just add a little bit here. That is such a gorgeous brown. And maybe a teeny bit more here. I love doing colour swatches and it's one of the reasons I started this channel because I wanted to share the love I have of, of colours, especially watercolours or pencils, uh, but mostly watercolours um, with you all. I think that's such a beautiful medium, such a lovely medium. Moving on, I will go and swatch this, which I believe is called navy blue, but it isn't quite navy, oh, have I contaminated it? No, I don't think so. I'll just put that. It isn't exactly navy blue. I'd say it's more like a dove blue. Um, hmm. What should we do? I think I'm gonna just go with shapes.
kind of hanging off the tree. It is such a beautiful colour and I don't think I, I oh sorry about that. <laughs> too much traffic here in the mountains today. I don't think I have a similar colour in my palette um, and I love dove blue and that's why I chose to buy it in the first place. I saw it and I thought oh my goodness that's so beautiful. Next up I think I'm going to go with this delightful pink which I think is called bubblegum. I'm going to write all the names at the ends and I also will link her shop underneath in the description. So you may want to go and see her other or the same or other watercolours she makes. I will definitely be trying more of hers. They're so beautiful. Now, that is such a delicate pretty pink you may be swatching in a slightly unorthodox way here but I'm, I'm just going to have fun with it and I hope you do too next is this colour which is also going to be joining my everyday palette because I love it it's called Moss and it is a very subtle blue green but it has like an undertone, a warm undertone, which I haven't quite figured out. I think I need to uh, experiment with it more. Um, let me just put it here. So you can see just a very pretty dark green, green but not dissimilar to perylene green when I see it on the paper here and with the lighting as it is but I think it has more depth to it um, because of the different pigments in there Next, I am going to swatch this colour here, which um, she very um, generously gifted me in my uh, purchase. And it is, oh, it, let me see, it is called Raw Umber Light. I was almost going to say ochre, but no. Such a beautiful, beautiful colour. It's not dissimilar to um, the colour of the cliffs that are around me here. It's so pretty. I think we're going to place it up here. I'm going to experiment with more ways to make swatches because um, I love having fun with it. Maybe just creating something very simple in the process because it's very basic. And finally is this gorgeous soft yellow which is called Marshmallow. I want to place this. Hmm. Maybe here. I don't know how well you can see this on camera. But I can see it clearly, but it is quite a light colour. I want to experiment with um, 
with mixing with that as well. Maybe experiment with mixing those two. Now, this is a very, very basic tree. Is there anything we could do to give it a bit more life? Maybe just add a little bit of shadow. This is totally spontaneous. A bit of shadow there. the basic little tree <laughs> um, and I'm going to use this moss colour so if you going to try mixing the pink and the yellow see what oh that is so sweet it's a very sweet candy pink shall I just add here there we go very basic tree <laughs> but I desperately wanted to showcase these colors um, they're all so pretty I am going to write the names of them once that has dried as you can see these are the names navy blue moss Raw Umber Light, Marshmallow and Chewing Gum and her name is, her Etsy name is Fräulein Creativa and she's, um, I think she's got also a website out of Etsy but I bought these watercolours from Etsy. Um, they came really prettily packaged and she very kindly put little card in there and that which is in um, as you can see it's in German I believe and uh, unfortunately I can't read German but I'm sure m many of you can so if that gives more information on her her work that might be helpful my goodness, I've gone through this and Baloo hasn't <laughs> made an appearance. Is he still sleeping? I'll be back with a lengthier video next time once I've just adjusted everything for filming a little bit better so I'm not right in the sun so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, um, please leave a comment subscribe and if you would like to see more um, videos from me and also hit the notification button just so that you know when i'll upload a next video thank you so much for sticking through this with me it was a very short video but as i said i hope i'll be making lengthier ones soon um thank you thank you so much and i hope to see you soon bye blue hello 
my love. Blue, say hello. Hello, Blue. Say hello. Sweet Blue.